Hey everyone, Bash here, and we are back with Raccoon. So, we have to kind of get this figured out, this compl complicated puzzle. Ugh. So we're missing the yellow. Missing the yellow one. So we got, we got the red and the blue on. So, I'm hoping that did something for us. Have we been in here yet? Nope. Okay, Benny, today I'm going to teach you how to be a detective. Yes, I want to learn. First things first, we bears have a really good sense of smell. It's our most important tool. More important than a magnifying glass? Yes, even more important than that. See, watch. I'm gonna close my eyes and using only my nose, I'll find us some mushrooms. Mushrooms! Wow, you didn't even look once! See what I mean? The next thing you need to know when you're looking for a bad guy is how to track their footprints. Bad guys always leave footprints. It's true. See these footprints? A bad guy made those. You're totally right, Benny. But that's not all. Check this out. There's honey in here. Who put that there? You caught me. The bad guy is dad? Run! <laughs> Your detective skills are too good for me. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, okay, now we're in a chest room. <coughs> Excuse me. There is a letter on the ground. Yes. Dear Christy, when are you coming back from school? I have so much to tell you. I found another secret passageway, but this time it was in the closet downstairs. You know, the closet downstairs your mom keeps a vacuum cleaner. It leads all over the house. There's a locked door up there too, but people were coming in, so I had to hurry before I could try to opening it. I think I found a key that opens the door. Let's try it later when everyone's asleep. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, so let's see here. We need to get some information. I don't know what we're looking at there. I forgot what's in here. Oh yeah, that's the control room. Um, hmm. Bash 
Um. What am I supposed to do? Oh man. That one's still locked. Where does this go? Bathroom. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. There's nowhere else to go. I don't see anything. I'm not even supposed to be in here yet. <laughs> Interesting. Oh god, sticks. Um, no, I don't. I don't want to read a bunch of the stuff because that's gonna make me sad. I can't do it. Okay, so I've pretty much got nothing here. What does 5, 10, 12 mean? I can't go there. I don't know. I need to know what I'm supposed to do. I don't see anything that tells me what to do. Yeah, I don't see anything. Can I just wing it? More chest rules. Queening. When your pawn reaches the other side of the board, you can replace it with a rook, knight, bishop, or queen. This is called promotion. Most of the time, players choose to replace their pawn with a queen. This is commonly referred to as queening. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Maybe I'm not supposed to be using these ones? All these other ones are set up to where I can't push them now. Ah! I 
don't see anything and that's why I'm so confused. I can't get in here yet. Unless maybe I only have the blue one on? Or the red one? Which one did I get first? No, it's just the piano room. It's downstairs again. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Okay. Um, okay. So... Sorry, I'm writing this down. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to... Wait, why am I writing... Uh, I could technically just screenshot it, actually. Or screen print it. Let's just do that. Screen print. And... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Got it. Ah, oh, that was a pain. I like this game. I just didn't know I was, what I was getting into when I when I thought. Well, my fault. Oh no. Does something happen to Benny and it's Christie's fault or something? I don't like the way this is going. <laughs> I really don't like this. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Now the last one's open. Okay, so do I just turn them all on now, or what? Can I go in the room now, because I got them all? No? Oh wait. Wasn't that upstairs? Yeah, I think that was upstairs. Is it this one? <coughs> Okay, now we can go upstairs. Hmm, it looks like a dead end. You know, if we finish building those wings, I'm sure we could just use them to fly across the divide. Oh well, yeah, good idea, Mom. Let's continue searching the house for the materials listed in the wings. We can come back here once we have everything. Okay. So I'm not done. What room have I not gone in yet? <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, so let's do yellow and red. Oh, that didn't do anything, did it? As far as I can tell. Unless it unlocked that room up there. Can we get in there? Yeah, we can get in there now. Okay. Oh, I don't like the dark. I don't like the dark. I don't like the dark. Ooh, we can just walk straight through the bed. <laughs> Master bedroom closet key. E. Okay, before I do that, let's um turn the blue one on and turn the red one off. Okay. That way I can just see what's changed, if anything. Have I been in this one before? Nope. I hate moving. Christy, we all move all the time and I'm always a new kid. They pick on me and makes me never want to leave the cave. I know, Benny. I feel the same way. But I'm talking to you. I'm taking you to a place that'll make you feel much better. Really, Christy? You're the best. I promise, Benny, you're gonna love this place. This is so neat. How did you find it? It's like a secret hideout. It is a secret hideout. Our secret hideout. We can make it our first official secret detective clubhouse. This is the greatest. Wait. But doesn't somebody already live here? Nope. Are you sure? What about the lanterns? In the garden. Forest spirits put the lanterns here. And the garden's just left over from the previous owner. Trust me, I've been checking on my 
walk back from school every day. This place is abandoned. You're right, Christy. I do love this place. And check this out. There's even a little cave that leads back to the main path. So if any bad guys try to catch us while we're doing our detective work, we can sneak out through here. We finally have our own place! Where no one can find us. Thank you, Christy. You're the best big sister ever. Come on, Benny. Wanna see what the cave looks like? Yeah. Bad guys, huh? <laughs> I don't like where this is going. <laughs> it makes me nervous. I use the mouse key to unlock it. There's a kitty. I found OG the cat. I found a cat named OG. Maybe we could take him back to the hospital. I bet he would like make a great pet for the people on the floor. Okay. Did I find everything I needed yet? Six. Alright, so six feathers. Right? Eight sticks. Um, I got the backpack straps and we need glue. Okay. And what do I have? Backpack straps. I have eight sticks. Where's the feathers? Feathers. I have six feathers. So I'm missing the glue. Okay, so we need to find the glue then. And I found a cat. <laughs> been up through here so I kind of doubt that it's up here. Let's go down this way. Um, did we check the closet? I don't remember. Okay. I was wondering what that was about. I'm the worst sister? Oh no. That's so sad. I don't like where this is going at all. I really don't like this. <laughs> Alright, let's
let's try and see if we can go now, then, because we got everything. We need to make sure the straps, not the straps, the switches. I can't wait to eat. Nothing works up an appetite like hiking all afternoon. Okay, kids, dig in. I'm not hungry. How is that possible? I had a big breakfast. He was snacking. Christy. Sorry, I mean, we were both kind of snacking. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. We're on vacation. You two can go play. Yay. If you're lucky, your mother and I will save you some food. <laughs> Benny, wait. <laughs> Christy? Yes, Dad? Be a good girl and watch over your brother, okay? I will. That's my girl. Oh, we're playing as Christy now, as a bear. Oh, why does this not feel good? Benny! What are you doing? Come back over here before you get hurt. It's okay, Christy. See, look. It's really strong. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. We can no, 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 no. Come on, Benny. Stop joking around. I'm supposed to be watching over you and and I just don't want you to get hurt. It's fine, Christy. You worry too much. Benny, please. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll get off now. Thank you. Oh, the guys, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, Christy, help. No, 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 no. No. Benny. Oh no. <laughs> no. Dad. Dad, it's time for dinner. Dad? <coughs> it's okay, Christy. Your father is just very tired today from work. Why don't you come back and finish your dinner? Okay, Mom. <coughs> there you are, Dad. I've been looking all over for you. Dad? I think you should go home, Christina. But... I came to help you catch fish for dinner. Like we always used to. It's just you always said... Okay. I'll go home. Mom? Yes, dear? Does Dad hate me? Oh, sweetheart. No, of course not. Your father just doesn't show a lot of emotion. There's a lot going on underneath. Lots of complex feelings and thoughts. But there's also a lot of love for you. It doesn't feel like it. He used to be different. I know, dear. But you must believe me when I say that he loves you very much. I'll try. Good night, Christy. Good night, Mom. Oh, man. Well, 
looks like we have everything to make those wings. Let's get to work. Oh, it's already been 30 minutes. Nan, can you hold this feather in place while I glue it down? Like this? Yes, that's perfect. We're almost done. I can't wait to fly. Wow, these are great. Do you think they'll work? They look pretty strong to me. I think it'll be fine. Well then, are you ready to go? <coughs> oh man. Tony? <coughs> hey kid, how'd you find me? Tony, are you okay? No. Nothing is right. Go ahead, dear. Give him a letter. Don't be afraid. Tony, we found this letter. It's for you. It's from Christy. Dear Dad, it's been so long since you last spoke with me. I miss when you used to take me up in your airplane. I miss how you would teach me stuff. Most of all, I just miss you. I know you go on more business trips to get away from me. I know you hate me because I couldn't protect Benny. But I will always love you. I'm sorry that I couldn't be the daughter you wanted. Oh, Christy, no. No. I don't hate you. I love you so much with all my heart. You don't understand. What happened to Benny was my fault, not yours. I love each day of my life with so much guilt. Looking at you, you look so much like him. I didn't leave because I wanted to get away from you. I left because I didn't know how to deal with what had happened. I know that's selfish and I'm sorry. But knowing you feel this way, I can't bear it, Christy. I love you so much and I'm only ever wanted the best for you. You'll always be my little girl. I found Chrissy's journal key. Sorry guys, this is uh going on pretty long, but I feel like it's better to finish this part. Ugh. So I don't have to cry again hopefully next time. <laughs> oh man. This is killing me. Whew. Okay, I can't go into her room anymore. Unless that's not her room. Is this her room? Oh, A young girl's diary. There is a folded note inside labeled to Christy from Dad. I'm so sorry that I have to leave again, Christy, but to help you understand how much I love you, I want you to have this. When your mother tucks you in tonight, promise me that you'll listen to this. And that you'll think of the song I always sing to you at bedtime. Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. No, oh, man. Daddy, I can't sleep. It's alright. An hour. It's already an hour past your bedtime, Christy. How can you not be sleepy? Did your mother let you have extra honey again? Hee <laughs> hee. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to sing you a song. Your songs are the silliest. La 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 la, me me me, so so so. What are you doing? Warming up my voice, of course, and no warm-up would be complete without a... 
roar. Ha ha ha, daddy, you are the funniest. <laughs> and I think you're about to get the song. If you brush your teeth and you get good grades, I will be so proud. Maybe I'll even shout out loud or do a funny dance. Ha ha ha. Even though I go far away for work, you should always know that no matter how tall you grow, you'll always be my little girl. <laughs> Good night, Christy. Oh, whew. Second one down. <clears throat> huh? Where did all the bears go? Hmm, I'm not sure. But now we know Tony's song, we can finally give the blacksmith the Jackie to fix the music box. We better run there. Why is that? So that we don't accidentally forget the song before we get there. Haha, uh -huh, you're right, let's go. Welcome back, guys. What can I do for you? Jackie, we know the music box song now. You do? Well, that's fantastic news. I'll get right to work. We'll have this bad boy up and running in no time. <coughs> my music box. T -t Tony, my bear in my hut. Don't worry, he won't hurt you. Little Lebo, did you just fix my music box? His music box belonged to Tony? Yes, I'm sorry, we didn't tell you. It's just, he really looked like he needed help, but didn't know how to ask. So the little Lebo did fix it. If I say yes, will you not eat me? I can't believe this. You don't even know what this means to me. I can't take you enough. I'm so sorry for destroying your gardens. You're much nicer creatures than I give you credit for. I guess I've just been a big jerk. Well, from here on out, not only do I promise not to harm your village, I'll also promise to protect it. I owe you so much, so the last least I can do is show you my gratitude. I will, uh... Thank you, Tony Bear. And thank you, all my new little friends. Mom, look. It's another door. Should we see where it leads? Yeah. <sighs> Who's there? I thought I told you stupid nurses to leave me alone. Christy? Hi, Dad. I'm glad you're here. Me too, Dad. Mom? Still sleeping? <clears throat> Yummy, it's you. You should really be used to this by now. <laughs> so I hear you're becoming a regular hero around here, eh? Helping out your neighbors, saving little pink cat creatures from angry bears. Wait, you know about the labels? Of course I do. 
You think you're so special, the only kid who's been to the forest? Oh, no, no, I don't. I didn't mean that at all. I just... Before, when you didn't understand why the book was important to me, I thought... I thought that meant you hadn't read the story before. I'm sorry, Ami, I just... Hey, I was just kidding. It's all good. You don't have to explain. Eh. Wait. So that means... You know about Morazora? Of course I do. That's great, Yami. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, I couldn't even believe it the first time I saw it. Everything is so wonderful there. The creatures are real and they want to talk to me and help me and I want to help them too. Heh, <laughs> yeah, everyone loves you when they want something from you. Wait, what? I'm just saying. It's human nature, you know? Shouldn't feel bad about it. It's just the way it is. Are you gonna wish for anything? For more Zora? Yeah. I don't know. Last I saw, he was sleeping. And even if he did wake up, I doubt he'd grant me a wish. Why do you think that? Wishes are for good kids. Kids that help people. Kids that are strong. I'm too weak and too sick. How could I ever help anyone with anything? Oh, Yami. Ah, oh, man. I'm gonna get busted if the nurse catches me again. I'd better go. Yami? What? You've helped me. Huh? Why? Because I break into your room every night and you mistake me for your mom? <laughs> no. Well, maybe. What are you gonna. What are you on about? You keep me company. And you understand. Nights are the loneliest, you know? But when you're here, it's not as bad. Well, thanks for saying that. I mean it. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? I did. I feel refreshed. That's what I like to hear. So, looks like we're all set. I'll get these tests to the lab and... Shanty, I'm terribly sorry to interrupt, but we're having a bit of a problem. No worries, Genji. What do you need? Well... I hate to tell you this, but... Kisaburo got out again. What? He broke the new boards we put up and got into the space behind his room. And I'm pretty sure he got outside too because there's more boxes and more mud. Ugh, why? I don't understand why I have time for this right now. I'm thinking we might have to re-evaluate Kisaburo's medication. Unfortunately, I think you're probably right. Sorry guys, but I gotta run. You'll be free to walk around today if you'd like. Yay. Thank you, doctor. I hope everything is okay. Oh, I'm sure it will be fine. You know how it is. Just another day at the hospital. Okay, Genji, I'll meet you at the Kasaburo's room. Got it. What do you think? Should we go see what's going on with Kasaburo? Yeah, let's go, mom. Alright, we're definitely uh, stopping here because that was a lot for me to handle in one go. Whew. I definitely bawled like a baby there. So, I will catch you guys in the next one, alright? Ciao.